Hi, and welcome to this video. Today I'll be showing you how to do a router setup to get the best possible joint using your peanut jigs. With the peanut connecting system, the cutters come in three different sizes, half inch, eight mil, and a 12 mil. So depending on your router will depend on your collet size. Here we have a quarter inch router. Inside is the quarter inch collet. So we need to change that to an eight mil. So we simply just unscrew the nut, take out the quarter inch collet. Here I have my eight mil collet, put it inside the router, and on it goes, ready to take your eight mil tool. One of the most important things when setting up your router is making sure the router brush is perfectly aligned with the center of the router. There's different type of quick releases. And then you've also got screw inversion. So the main things are to check it's perfectly centered before you do your joint. I'll show you how to do that. And you've got to make sure there's not too much movement in the bushes as well. So if you're happy to use the router guide bush that comes with your router, the other thing you need to check is the projection from the base. This one and this one I've cut down to a three mil projection. You can do it to a maximum of four mil for the big jig. If you're using a mini jig, you can have a maximum of nine millimeters. This one still needs cutting. So the best thing to do is actually fit the router bush in your router and measure from the base because sometimes the router bush is set in quite a bit and you don't want to cut it, cut it off and it'd be too short. So just measure up, depend on your jig, and just cut it off with a grinder or a hacksaw. So we always recommend using a sub base plate. You get many different types. There's two key things on this. One is the depth for your router bush to go in because you don't want it to project past the, the bottom of the base plate. And the other thing is to make sure it's nice and flat and there's no rock in it. There's no movement in this one. There's a tiny rock in this one. So you just gotta be careful to use the right sub base plate. Okay, to set up your sub base plate and your router, sub base plate should come with your kit, your centering pins, and your centering bush. Now these come in different sizes, so you've got your half inch, quarter inch, eight, eight mil. First thing I do, put the bush in the base plate, and just screw that in position. You get your pin, insert that into your router. Make sure you use the right size. You don't need to over tighten it. There's no movement in that. Make sure your base is locked. Fix the sub base plate to the bottom of the router. You want to leave it loose so there's a bit of movement in that. Then plunge your base in into the pin lock it in position and that centered it perfect to your router then. Then all you do is tighten up two screws. You can release this. So you take the uh, centering pin out. Remove the centering bush. and swap that for your 30mm low profile router and guide bush. That's it. Perfectly set up, centered, ready to start routing. So another way you can center your guide bush is by using a centering cone. This one's designed to do an 8mm, 12mm half inch and quarter inch. So here I'm going to use it in the eight mil router. First thing I do is just fit the shank of the cone inside the router. And I just 
snug it up so there's no movement in that. I've already got my guy bush slightly loose, fitted to the base. So we just slide that onto the router motor, lock it in position, and then I like to plunge the base all the way down to the bottom and lock it. And using the cone, simply slide it over the shank, push it into the bush, and then I release the guy bush which is pressing up into the cone. Then just locking off the two screws, And that holds the guide bush perfectly centre. You just simply take the cone off. I take the base off. Then you can remove the shank, put your cutter in, and it's all perfectly aligned. When using the cone and your router or the sub base plate, it's slightly different. You loosely fix the sub base plate to the bottom of the router. I've already fixed the guide bush. We just want to make sure there's a bit of movement in that. Then using my half inch this time. Just put it in the collet again, snug it up. And the same as before now. Plunge your base as deep as you can. Using the cone. Press it into the guide bush. This will centre the sub base plate. And then I like to release again, just to put a bit more pressure on the cone. And then all we need to do is tighten up the two screws. Pull the cone off. Take the shank out, put your tool in, and it's ready to go perfectly centred to your router. Show you how we set up our quarter inch router. There's the motor, it's got a separate plunge base. She slides on, locks in. And we're using this type of router bush, it's the screwing type. So I'm going to use a smaller, a smaller guide bush. Fit that in first. And that screws into this part of the router. Just don't tighten it, you want a little bit of movement in the bush. So I'm going to use my 8mm peanut cutter. I'm going to put it in the middle of that bush and press it into the router. And then lock the two screws. I did have to grind the heads of these screws down a little bit because they were protruding past the base. Okay, I'm just unclip it. Now I need to swap this one over for the 30mm. That should be perfectly centre to the router. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how you can test if your guide bush is perfectly centred on your router. You get your jig. Clamp it to an old bit of scrap. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to plunge the router into one side of the jig and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and plunge it into the other side of the jig. I'm just getting a set square. Just set it on the edge of the hole and you can just eye it through and you can see this one is, is slightly out actually. So that's why we think it's best to manually fit your guide bridge and make sure you can centre it with your router. So either this system or a sub base plate is, is the ideal recommendation. I hope you find that video helpful. If you have any questions please contact us. Thanks for watching.